the remote viewing is this technical term developed by the intelligence community and the military in the, in the US uh, back in the day in the Stargate program to try to describe getting information at, that's either distance in time or space or both. So in this kind of experiment, imagine you're the subject and what you're going to see on the computer screen is a randomly selected photo. But that doesn't, ha you know that will happen in the future, but that doesn't happen until you're done describing the photo. Uh, so it's kind of like you have to answer the question before the question is asked. Okay. And so now you have to describe sort of what you sense that is in that photo. And so on a piece of paper, a couple of pieces of papers, you're drawing things, you're writing down adjectives, you're trying to get a sense of what is in that photo. When you're done, you're done, and you hand over your paper to the experimenter. Let's show you the target. Now it's randomly selected. What we found in a recent paper that's under review is that AI can be a better human, a better, I'm sorry, a better judge of precognitive remote viewing transcripts than humans. In other words, the AI is getting significant results where the human judges aren't.